a word to the wise, when you're doing video in the enterprise, make sure you know what's happening on that corporate network. Let's talk about it on this edition of... Hi, I'm Steve Onahar, Senior Analyst with Wayne House Research, welcoming you to this edition of Strategies for Streaming Success, sponsored by Ramp. On this edition of Strategies, we're taking a look at video networking, specifically the idea that when it comes to these networks, knowledge is power. You know, video is the great equalizer for corporate network administrators. It really exposes any flaws, even flaws that you didn't know that you had, in your corporate network, whether it be a, maybe a local area network chokehold that can't process a whole bunch of data at a single point, or a remote location that can't access a particular video clip. Video has this funny way of exposing the flaws in a corporate network. So what's a network administrator to do? Well, when you are able to address a problem, uh, the first thing you need to have in your hand is information on what is causing the problem. And so video network monitoring becomes an important element of the whole toolbox that a network administrator is going to apply to address video networking issues. And guess what? When you're the person who has a responsibility for making sure the video network works, the idea of video monitoring becomes pretty important to you. We see results here from a Wayne House Research survey of 304 IT executives conducted in the third quarter 2019. We asked those IT executives uh, how important to your purchase decision is the ability to monitor video performance in order to troubleshoot network problems. And as we can see in this chart, uh, those who have more responsibility for making sure the video works they are highly interested in having video monitoring capabilities. 57% of CIOs, for instance, saying uh, that the ability to monitor video uh, networking capabilities is a very important element of the streaming technology purchase decision. 52% of those involved in network administration. As you move away from responsibility for uh, video networking capabilities though, if you're in technical support project management, for instance, the concerns about having video monitoring capabilities for the network, uh, not quite so important to you. So clearly, those who have responsibility and are most closely identified with making sure that the video networking situation works, they want to have video monitoring tools. So to develop a better understanding of why IT executives with video networking responsibilities are so focused on having video monitoring capabilities at their disposal, consider the results from another Wayne House research survey right over here. This was from a fourth quarter 2019 survey, more than 2,000 end users uh, conducted uh, by Wayne House research. And we asked a question, uh, how much emphasis do you place on broadcast quality when evaluating the success of your organization's streaming video capabilities. And uh, as we can see here, IT executives deal with a pretty unforgiving lot, particularly those most active users of business video, those who use online video at work on a, on a daily or greater basis. 71% saying that they place a significant emphasis on broadcast quality when grading out uh, the success of their organization's streaming video capabilities. That's more than double the rate we see from those uh, who use online video less than monthly. So the most active users of online video are a very unforgiving bunch, and IT executives have high expectations to meet for those individuals who make online video part and parcel of their day-to-day -day business communications experience. Now, video network monitoring is not the only issue shaping the future of enterprise streaming. Wayne House Research has partnered recently with Ramp to develop a white paper called Building a Scalable Strategy for Enterprise Streaming. And in that paper, we identify five basic truths for making video work better in your workplace. Uh, you can get a free access to this white paper going to the uh, URL at the bottom of this uh, video, ramp.com slash truths. Go there, register, get your free copy of the paper. That's all the time we have for this edition of Strategies for Streaming Success. Our thanks goes out to our sponsors at Ramp and to you for joining us for today's presentation. Be sure to look for us online. Uh, we'll have more episodes of Strategies for Streaming Success addressing more issues related to the adoption of streaming in the enterprise. I'm Steve Onderhaar for Wayne House Research. Thanks for your time. Mm -hmm.